I'm going to talk about something that's really interesting. We're supposed to talk about this like weeks ago. And um, <laughs> and it's about dating somebody. Um, mm. the, so the question is, would you prefer to find somebody and date them on a, the, on a dating app? Or would you want to do that? The normal way, the regular the way, the <laughs> old fashioned way, in person the, way, or in, in person <laughs> type of way. Um, don't get me wrong. I've had my share of being on dating apps. Have I had successful dating app stories? Absolutely not. So I do feel um, that I, when I did try it out, like I used to be like on POF or like Tinder, like Bumble, like all of those. Um, so I just feel like when it comes to the dating apps though, you can put on such a facade on there. I don't feel like things are genuine. People are genuine on there. Um, I call it a narcissistic playground. I think a lot of narcissists actually find all their victims on dating apps. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Because they can put on a fake, you know what I'm saying? A fake show I, I like no bullshit Kyo. I, I when i used to be on dating apps i used to look at these people's profiles and i'm gonna tell y'all a little secret ladies and gentlemen when you're on a dating app and you see someone who and they say what's the most like a question like what's the most important thing to you in a relationship and these motherfuckers be like oh my god loyalty over everything trust is everything it's a red flag believe it or not because Why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because <laughs> nor, nor, normally narcissists, they are going to mirror whatever they have seen either previously on your profile or what they lack themselves because they do not have an actual identity. So when they say, <laughs> why kill you got Denny? <laughs> do you have loyalty over everything on your dating app? <laughs> Yeah, hello. Yeah, hell yeah, I do. Oh my god, no, take that shit off. <laughs> so what's, what's wrong putting body? that? What, 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 what's wrong putting that? Maybe just, they like literally. Maybe they, they will, are maybe, loyal. When you're excessively about like you're preaching, literally, uh, instead of saying your own interest in your hobbies and you're solely focused on just like, well, this is what I believe in and how I want my woman to be. Da 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 da. Red flag. Red flag. You know what I mean? That That's a red flag. I have been with a couple of narcissists in my life, which is why I had to reevaluate my own self. Because at this point, if I'm dating the same type of person, the problem, I have to look at myself eventually, right? So I'm anti-dating apps. I have not been on a dating app since I met my last narcissist. And I am cool off them fucking people, honestly. Um, I, I honestly... Like I do genuine connections in person. I'm a people person anyway. I honestly think I look better in person. I got, I've gotten told that so many times. Like when they be like, oh, like you're so beautiful. And then they meet me and then they're just like, oh my God, no, you're really beautiful. So I was like, well, damn, I don't know if I should be insulted or <laughs> take it as a compliment. I hate when people say that though. Yeah. Like, oh my God, you look so much better in person. Right. Like, I'm like, when my picture's ugly. <laughs> Come on, yeah. I don't think that's a worse compliment. <laughs> so it is an insult then. I should have taken it as an insult. It's not nice, right? Because I'm just like, and then I ask and they'd be like, oh no, it's just your pictures are cute. Cute is for fucking dogs. I'm not a fucking dog. Cute is for babies. <laughs> um, here's the thing though, man. I don't have a problem with the dating ides. I think there are genuine people out there. There are, you know, some real ones out there, though. You know, you got your catfishes out there. <laughs> I hate those, man. That's the. I think that's the only thing that I don't. That I don't um, like. That I don't. I don't like just just with the catfish those because I deal with so many, and. Um, and and then oh, and it's just and, and it's just getting to know the person though. Cause for me, man, if I meet somebody on the app, I could just get to know them. If I know they're not for me, I don't need to go see them. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't need, I don't need to see you. But I think the thing that su sucks about though, like you meet somebody for that first time, you do feel that 
that awkwardness because you know the huge the huge question that people deal with dating apps is there's oh are you gonna are you gonna like me you know in when you when you see me in person because you know mm -hmm. talking to somebody getting to nobody somebody on the phone or through a text message is something completely different to when you meet them and see them in person i i think that's a really huge difference though because sometimes it works out when you see them in person sometimes it does not <laughs> happen <laughs> And you know, you, I mean, you don't know, you don't have to worry about wasting your time. Hey, man, rejection also. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's, mo what's more humiliating is being rejected in person oh. compared, to, compared to being rejected on a dating app. I'm like, dude, I'd rather be rejected in a dating app. I, I don't, I don't care if I get rejected oh, in person, wow. but. Being rejected on a dating app is like no big deal. You don't have to worry about nothing. But if you get rejected on, on in person, I think you know that that is kind of embarrassing. Those, I mean, for people that don't have the confidence like that, and I think I think people that use dating apps, I may be wrong. Some people may not have confidence in themselves. I literally, though. was just <laughs> thinking that I was like, I think. A lot of people who lack, you know, self confidence, or they're just kind of like they're afraid of rejection. You know what I mean? Are on yeah. dating apps, and, or and it can also be the fact that dating apps is the way of dating nowadays. But I just wish they would just bring back original dating because yeah. it, it can be misleading. You know what I mean? You can be yeah. literally completely, like you said, catfished, or like I said, an artistic playground. Like say you think you have a great connection with this person. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, hell yeah. And being a whole different person. It's just dating. it's not I don't know anyone that's had a successful dating app story, if that makes any sense. I've heard dates from hell, blind like blind wow. dates, and none of that stuff usually works out. So I guess that's where my perspective comes from, like my own personal experience. And I look at other people who have been on dating apps and there just hasn't been a good outcome, you know. Maybe on Christianmingle.com. Um, <laughs> um no i i've had i've um my last relationship i was with i was with her for six years i wouldn't say a dating app like i would say more of a social media like you know when you're when you're friends with somebody yeah when you're you know when you follow somebody i'll be honest man hey <laughs> When I when I go add somebody, I'm like, damn, damn, she look good. I'm about to go add her right now. <laughs> See, and that's why when we talk about social media and relationships, that's no, I'm saying, why. No, I'm saying I'm single. I, I, I would though. I would. Why not? Come There's on now, like anybody. That. Anybody out there that's tuning in, you know damn well if you see somebody's attractive, you're following their asses. Right, and you can also, and it's motherfuckers out there as well tuning in that y'all be in relationships doing that shit, knowing what your intentions are. Okay, well, oh about. wait, no way. But what happened? What happened if you are in a relationship and the person follows you? You can't control that unless your page is private. <laughs> Come on, Yvette. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people follow you yeah, and you're in I a relationship. I just don't engage. I get a lot of follows, a lot of messages. I'll just kind of read it. I won't respond. I won't like it. It's out of respect for my relationship, honestly. I did like it at one point, and my boyfriend got really, really mad at me. He was like, you shouldn't even be liking or entertaining anything. And I'm like, you're right. Because they, he, but, I know what the intentions are. You but know? you know, but you know, um, like, I'm, I know I mentioned social media and meeting people on social media. That's actually mm -hmm. considered a dating app. <laughs> if you're not actually <laughs> using the dating app, dating app, you know. Yeah, meeting, I believe hitting. that. But I uh, met there. my recent baby's um, Emery's dad on Instagram. And look where the fuck that got me. Okay, Kyo. So I'm anti all that. <laughs> no, there are, there are, it, it is successful though, but. Um, <laughs> meeting somebody you know that that is definitely organic also um yeah. i like both i like both i like, bo I like both but you, if you asking me shit i'm going for the daily apps man 
makes this easier for you. Just, do you feel like you have your self confidence though? Why would you feel like you're on the dating app? Is it just easier for you? It's just easier for me, it, it, and it mm-hmm. is self confidence also for some people. But I think for for other people out there, it's just because their schedule they work too much. Um, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. That that could be a thing. You know, people just have yeah. a lot of. Uh, you know stuff on their schedule and, and and that's what most people have told me though with, yeah. with people that's on dating it was like i don't have time for that you know i got work well then y'all y'all shouldn't be on so this is how i view that keo like okay <laughs> if you're working that fucking much you have no time to dedicate to anybody to go out and make a genuine organic connection in person, you don't need to be fucking dating. Oh, okay. Wait, because people wait. require consistency and your time. So say you meet somebody on a dating app and you're they're like, oh well, I worked X amount of this and da da. It's un- you're not gonna want to really talk to them because they are gonna have no fucking time for you. Shit, that's a red flag for me. I, <laughs> when somebody says I've been working a lot, I don't I don't care how nice you are. I'm yo, I'm good. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's and here's an and here's another thing before we close it out. Mm-hmm. Another reason why people go on baiting out because they try to get some. Like what? I've done that. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm like, dude, man, I'm about to go. I've had like some. moments where I wanted like one just a quick like one night stand, wham bam, get it out the way. Cause I was just like in the mood. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like that was my either, place. <laughs> you know, some some people just look for, for different things in there. Some people, you know, they they are actually looking for friends, or some people want to promote their brand out there. Some, you know, are looking On for a, a sugar. App? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Some some are looking for a sugar daddy. Some are looking for a threesome. Some are just, yeah, they, I don't know. They, That's true. Have yeah. I did see a lot of married like couples on there and they would be on there together looking for like people. Yeah. And some, <laughs> and I know some people that are looking are just bored, but they're in relationships. And that's horrible, man. <laughs> you can't yeah. be playing with somebody like that. At all, because you don't know who you be playing with. These motherfuckers be crazy out here these days, okay? Uh-huh. Crazy. <laughs> all right, let's move on over. Let's move on over. Right, so. Man.